or our people Sankey diagrams. A Sankey diagram is basically a posh energy transfer diagram. You can see it's set up as an arrow that's pointing from the left to the right. You have the input energy coming in the left-hand side, the useful output energy coming out the right-hand side, any wasted energy will be pointing downwards. And the important thing about Sankey diagrams is they are drawn to scale. You can see here it is the width of the arrows that represents the amount of energy in each case. I'm going to show you how to draw a Sankey diagram. We'll, we'll draw a Sankey diagram for an energy saver light bulb where 60% of the energy is transferred into useful light, 40% of the energy is wasted as heat. I've chosen uh, my scale, so 100% is represented by 20 of the little squares and you can see I've already started my arrow that is pointing to the right. The first thing I'm going to do is draw the downward arrow for the wasted energy. That is 40% so that will be represented by eight little squares. So what I will do is start by drawing my downward pointing arrow. It does not matter how long you draw the arrow, the important part is the width of the arrow. So now we're going to go two, four, six, eight squares wide representing 40%. So we can draw the other side of the arrow, like so. We can finish it off with a nice point, pointing downwards. So our downward pointing wasted energy arrow represents 40%, and that is the heat energy. And I'll say it again, it is the width of the arrow that is representing that 40%. All right, the useful energy is 60% light, so that means the arrow that is pointing that direction is gonna to have to be 12 little squares wide according to our scale. So this is, this is the bit where most people go wrong, actually. Well, instead of drawing this way for the arrow, we've gotta take our wasted energy arrow all the way up until we get to the 12th little square. So if I just add that on now, and then what I can do is draw the top part of our useful energy arrow. Again, it doesn't matter how long, it's the width that counts. Then I can draw the bottom part, like so. We can finish it off with a point, so we're saying, yeah, this is the direction. Energy transfer. So we're going from electrical energy to light energy. And it is the width of the arrow that represents 60% of the energy drawn to scale because it's 12 little squares based on our original scale of 20 little squares for 100%. Okay, now it is your turn.